Hello and welcome to a little bit of a different video. Today we will be taking a look at the so far new features in 1.17. Now, we are still in the middle of the snapshots. A lot are going to change and there is still going to be a lot to be added. But this is a, I guess, a roundup for of what has been added in 1.17 so far. Now, this is not going to be very technical. I'm not gonna be very technical. It's just going to be me uh, just exploring the new things at 1.17 and giving, I guess, my view and opinion on it, etc, etc. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Um, I have some chests here with a bunch of stuff. And I guess I'll be starting... Mm, eeny, miny, mo. Nah. Let's start with the new ores. So, well, new ores. Um, new ore textures, I should say. We're gonna ignore these right here because I'll be covering the deep slate uh, in a little bit. But one thing to note immediately is that the ores have, uh, they have changed textures. And some of them at least. One has not been changed from the original, which should be quite clear which one it is. So all of these are new ores, so as you, not new ores, new textures, sorry. As we can see here, we have the diamond, which is the original diamond, the ore texture, but everything else is unique. And I believe one of the reasons they've done this is so that colorblind play players can actually tell the difference from the different ores. Now, I think that is an excellent addition, and but e even if that wasn't the case, I absolutely love how they look, there's more depth and it just matches Minecraft's new, well, since the texture update, really, and I really love the new textures here. Cool, that's so close. Now, one thing that we will be going underground, by the way, and exploring the new cave generation as well, but one thing as well that I find very interesting in 1.17 is that the, the, the ore generation is completely different, which it's kind of funny because I myself have been playing Minecraft since 1.7.10 and when you play Minecraft over the years you learn techniques and how you do certain things best. So mining for example, hey you mine at this level and you get the highest chance of getting this and this. All of that will have to be relearned from scratch, like completely scratch. We have seen charts with the ore generation being completely different and that I'm excited for it because that's... It, it's something that has been in the game, but now getting completely revamped. Re, re, it is something in the game that is being completely redone and that will require new methods and new, new learning, basically, in a different way than other stuff. Does that even make sense? Now, I don't actually know if the quartz ore has changed, but I am pretty certain it is. I do not remember it being like this at all. And of course, we have the, ne the uh, nether gold over here. And I must say, I really hope actually that this texture gets put onto this. But then again, actually re rethinking that, I actually hope not because I would like some more depth in this. Like it, it's more smooth here, this is more rough, but it makes sense. The gold, the gold ore drops its own ore, but this drops nuggets. So actually, I don't think they should be the same texture because in the end, this gives nuggets and that gives the ore itself. Now, of course, this isn't new new. It was some of the first stuff to be added, but that is, of course, the cover. We now have the lightning rod, which will uh, draw in lightning, I believe, in a 2x2 two two or 3x3 three three chunk area, which is really, really cool. And then, of course, we have the copper block itself, which is really amazing. It can deteriorate over time, so you place it here, and then I don't remember how long it is in between, but quite a while it will end up being like that. Now, of course, you can uh, wax these so you freeze them in their current state using honey, and I think that is really, really cool. And yeah, as there's like the stairs and whoop. <laughs> There's like stairs and cut and etc. So you can really be doing some building with this and that's I think is going to be very interesting and very cool to have a new ore in the game. Next is we just need tin. I guess while we are speaking of new ores and textures and whatnot, we have some completely new stone types that are being generated now underground, which we will go and explore in a little bit. And these are called Deep Slate, and they generate at the bottom of the world. And 
I must say they look very similar to basalt. If we take basalt here, well, yeah, sure, why not? Like if we take basalt, the color of it reminds me a lot. They remind me a lot of each other. I don't know if there is a relation in between. I guess not. But then again, this generates at the bottom of the world where there would technically be more lava. Maybe I don't know. But in general, if we just remove the basalt here, the, the deep slate itself, it, it looks great. I really love the darker, the like the stone bricks, but just darker. And also these, the chiseled. They're not directional, though. That would be nice. But um, now this is the one that would generate naturally. It has a smooth surface and then like a brick type texture. I, personally, I feel like it's... A little bit of a mismatch but I mean that's just me but I generally I like I like these I think they look cool and like imagine this on like a path medieval builds and stuff like that yeah I think the I love these actually now I, I guess we'll continue on the trend of uh, blocks now I don't this is called Azalea and I haven't actually seen anything about this so I don't know how this actually generates. I had a quick look in the in the micro wiki, but I didn't actually see anything specifically. So we'll have to see if we find something on the ground. But basically, this is some type of moss. So if we go down here, I don't know if this generates naturally yet. And apparently I can't click with this. Nor can I with... Can I click anything? There we go. Moss carpet and moss block as well. So we have moss now, which is cool. We also have this grow... I'm probably butchering that. But anyways, uh, this will generate naturally in caves and glow, which I think is really, really cool. And then there's this. Which... I don't know how to stack. <laughs> Wait, can I? Nope. I'm just, I'm just experimenting here. Nope. Okay. But what I've seen is you can, only, you can stand on it, but only for a certain amount of time until it gives in and drops you. I don't know where this generates. Again, we will have to see uh, into under the world here what will uh, what will if it will show up. But no matter what, I th I think this is really cool. And I also have in the chest up there. We also have glow berries, which apparently should also spawn on the ground. But I haven't seen like any any snapshots like introducing it to the cave generation. Now over here, I did make a little bit of a test area with the uh, moss block here. So if we were to place it here and then bone meal it, the moss will actually spread and apparently replace the stone here. And you can see these like bushes. Can we right click these? No. But yeah, that's that's really cool and I'm looking forward to this. Now, I don't know, but I'm assuming this is going to be like small biomes on the ground, but I don't know where you can actually find this stuff. There are also these spore blossoms, which apparently can generate from the ceiling, and they do something. <laughs> I don't know if they have a use, but I mean, they look cool, and the question is, do they, do they emit light? No, but as you can see, this right here is a naturally generated lichen. Again, probably butchering it, and it gives off a very low amount of uh, of light here, which is really really cool. Now next we have a bunch of well, actually let's wait with that because uh, as we have deep slate, I forgot. As we have deep slate, we also have some ores that will generate in this deep slate, uh, like stone. So it wouldn't make sense if we had iron ore just pop in with this type of stone that just would not make sense so this makes perfect sense and I must say I really love the way the ores look obviously it's the same kind of texture the stone has just been replaced with the deep slate but I really like how they look next we have a bunch of different things in here which I'll cover let's start from the beginning here candles we have candles that uh, they were added pretty early in the game well not it's pretty early in the game pretty early in the beginning of 1.17 and you can even place them on cakes, which I think is really, really cool. Like that, and they give off light as well. Plus, there are a bunch of different colors you can use, so that is really awesome as well. 
Unfortunately, when you put it on the cake, the cake disappears. So that's a little bit unfortunate. But um, at least we get a candle on the cake. The cake is a lie. Next, of course, we have the spyglass, which I did actually cover in another video in the beginning of 1.17. And it zooms in a lot. Now, I have the mod OK Zoomer <laughs> installed. Uh, so let's compare actually. So if I zoom in, I could clearly see the birch tree, except for the render distance cutting it off, of course. But the, this actually zooms in a lot more than the zoom from the mod. So that's interesting. Now, of course, you do have the glass, and you can see clearly see you looking looking through like a spyglass. Hey cow! But that's cool. I like it, and also it looks cool from the outside when you use it. So that's really cool. That blah, blah, blah. that's really cool. Next, we have the glow squid, which a lot of people hate for some reason. Um, what on earth is that? Oh, that's some licking, licking things spawning underwater. It does that. Hmm, okay. Um, but anyway, glow squid. A lot of people hate this guy. I don't know why. <laughs> I understand that people might have wanted something other than a weird glowing squid, but I mean, it looks cool. It looks cool. Now, unfortunately, it does not give off like a light level, but it's just easier to see. Unlike the fish, for example, you can clearly see the difference. It is much more brighter. Um, and it, it, it will give this glow ink sac. Now, I don't think you could do anything with it other than making, well, these glowing item frames, which again, they won't emit light, but they will be a lot brighter. And I think they look great because if we make a comparison here, item frame, like so, there's a clear difference right here. And that really highlights a lot more than that. Um, in my opinion, anyway. I just looked as well. So far, the only thing the glow ink sack can be used for is to make these glowing item frames. Uh, glow item frames, because they're not actually glowing, but you know what I mean. And But I, I'm sure they will add more uh, usage for them as well in the future, because it would be weird just adding them for that one functionality. So I think they most likely have something else in store as well. All right, I kind of skipped over the skulk sense, I suppose, which is a new thing, quite interesting to the redstone world. Um, so if we place this and just wire up some redstone, so the skulk sensor, well, does that. It can capture sound, basically. <laughs> so anything from block breaking, footprints, you can see the particles going over there. Block placing, stuff like that, block breaking, which is really cool. Now there is a lot of detail into this, like blocking uh, sounds with, I think it's wool. I think you can block sounds with wool. I'm not 100% sure how this thing works. But if I place wool here, for example, and walk around, only when I walk here, it'll will register it, but when I walk... Chicken, you're, you're ruining my experiment. Actually. Question is... Even that, it, it, uh, it even caught that. That's cool. It actually doesn't catch me walking on... Chicken, you're... Dip, dip, dip. Sorry, but no. Okay, so if I walk on the wall here, it doesn't register anything. But if I walk on this, it does. So the wall acts like a sound dampening thing, which I think is really cool. Now, there are people that have made a lot more in-depth videos of this thing. And I highly recommend to check it out if you're interested, because I don't know half of what's going on with this thing. Other than it captures sound and wool can be used to block it and the, the stuff like that. And also, can we just, like, it looks so cool. Now, I'm actually interesting. Okay. 
it actually lights up a little bit. It gives off a little bit of light level when it gets activated. That's cool. I like that. Moving on, we have the powder snow, which you can of course place. And that is a new thing added a while ago. And when you stand in it, you can see the screens, screen zooming in and you can see these uh, effects here on the screen slowly appearing and if I go back into survival mode here you can see that we start taking damage and I love how these hearts look as well now it's not a very deadly amount of damage as you can see but it it's cool I like it you can make some uh, some traps with these I think um, we just walk in here <laughs> It looks cool, and when I exit the snow, we of course zoom out and the effect starts wearing off. Now, I'm interested in knowing if we go straight from being in that frozen state and into something like, well, both lava, but also let's try fire. <laughs> I want to see if that ice effect goes away instantly. So, if I go in here... Right, uh, let's remove that. If I go in here, survival mode, just wait for it. All right, I am now taking damage. So if I just step into the fire, okay, so it does actually make it go away pretty much instantly. And it also, of course, turns off the fire. So that's cool. I assume lava will do the same. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna test that. <laughs> I'd rather stay alive. I should mention as well that the way you actually get the powder snow is by placing a cauldron in a biome where it snows. The snow will actually collect in the cauldron and you can pick it up with a bucket. Speaking of which actually, speaking of cauldrons, you can actually now store lava. You can store lava in cauldrons, which is really cool. Now, of course, if you were to manage to get in it of course you start burning and you can actually use it as a trash can as well as you can see the items actually gets burned so that is I like that as well and of course it also gives off light we of course also have the amethyst right here they are spawn underground I think we'll take a look at those when we actually go underground I just think that's easier but those are also made to make the uh, used to make the the spike glass that we had before now we have Oxal... What a... Oxal... Oxal... <laughs> what? Oxalotl... Axolotl... What? Axolotl... Axolotl... Hey, I, I wasn't... I wasn't too far off... Axolotl... Okay... Um... This thing... <laughs> <laughs> has been added into the game as well and the uh, they're, they're cute I must admit they're cute and I think I don't think you can tame them I think you can befriend them like dolphins but I don't oh they're killing the fish that's interesting that is interesting now there are different colors as you can see we have yellow we have brown we have the white one over there um let me see, actually, uh, if you can tame these or not. I don't think you can. All right, interesting. So they actually don't spawn naturally at this point in time. Of course, they will in the future. Uh, we have five different colors. We have blue, cyan, which is apparently the one I call white, um, gold, wild, which is the brown one. And then we also have, well, that one. I would call it pink, but I'm not even going to try and pronounce what it says on the wiki. <laughs> So this is interesting. These creatures actually have a lot to them. Uh, they're passive towards players and can be attached to leads. Uh, axolotls were intended to give regeneration one and remove mining fatigue. When a player kills a mob that is in combat with an axolotl, this is currently does not work apparently. Uh, they're hostile towards fish as we clearly just saw. Oh my. <laughs> Uh, squid and glow squid. So if we were to take a glow squid in here into the mix and just spawn a bunch of these in, as you can see, they immediately start attacking. Uh, Axolotls also attack grounds and guardians, but not elder guardians. Uh, when tempted with tropical fish by a player. 
Interesting. It doesn't say anything by taming, but it says tempted. Drowned and Guardians will all, always attack Astronaut. So that's interesting. It's going to be interesting to see where they spawn naturally. But I think it's definitely great to see more ocean mobs make it into the game. So we actually have two ocean mobs in this update so far. We have the axolotls and then we also have the glow squids. And it's it, it's going to be a war between these guys and all the fish. Oh my. This is a lot of fish. Hmm. Interesting. Next, we have two things left. We have the glow berries, uh, which should generate on the in caves on some sort of tree thing. But again, we will have to go underground and see if we can find anything. I think it should happen where the moss is. But again, I don't know if that has been added yet. But we definitely have the glow berries. So if I go into survival mode here, and if I give myself hunger real quick. Because while I'm getting hungry here, I should mention as well that these blocks have new, unique sounds to them. Which is cool. Alright, four meat puffs down. I cannot imagine these taking more than two. Let's see. One. Okay. I was kind of, in some for some reason, expecting two, but nope. We got one. Alright. That's fine. Finally, of course, we have the bundle which can hold up to 64 items. So either a stack of something or we can have a few of different things. So if we go here and I don't remember how to do this. Um, ah, there we go. So you hold it and then you simply right click it on something to fill it up and then you right click it again to empty it. So if I fill it up with some of this stuff, as you can see, when you hold the mouse over, it says 22 out of 64, and it also shows you what is actually in there and what will be taken out when you right click again, which is highlighted right there. You can see one of the berries right now are highlighted, and that is what will be taken out. And I do believe that you can also shift the control. Nope. The. I'm pretty sure there was a way to, like, instantly just eh eh let me know down below in the comments if there is a way to to instantly empty oh well it's gone now let me know down below in the comments if there is a way to empty everything from it into your inventory i would like to know that um but anyways that covers up pretty much everything i had prepared for let us now go under hold up that is one thing actually i noticed did the compass texture change because, oh yeah, the, these two have definitely gotten a texture update. I don't know when, but that that's new. They haven't been looking like that before. <laughs> that's, um, I, I like it. I like the new textures for these. I like them. Or maybe I just don't know my Minecraft well enough. That could also be it. Let me know down below in the comments. Now, finally, let's, uh, well, actually, hold up. Before we do that, I need my vision. But let's go underground and see some of the new stuff uh, for ourselves. So, spectator mode. And here we go. So, as far as I know, we still have the norm, some of the normal cave generation in here. But also together with um, new stuff, as you can see down there. Now, just really quickly, this is one of the geodes. Uh, right here and something did actually change. We actually have smooth basalt now surrounding it instead of that um, That other one. I don't remember tough right here. This will now be generated uh, elsewhere, but now we have smooth basalt generating around these um, these things right here and Something that I thought had changed or gotten an update, but apparently not uh, Was the mine shaft I thought the pillars here would have been changed out with logs, but it doesn't seem like it. Maybe I saw something wrong. Um, if you know, let me know in the comments. But anyways, um, as you can see here, we are down to Y level minus 14. So this would be, go up. This would normally be the bedrock level right here. This would be at bedrock where I'm standing right now. But now we're going down, down. 
and there you see the bedrock right there at minus 64 and there we have the bedrock right there so that is something the world height has been increased with 64 and the bedrock has been lowered with 64 and here you can see the tough generating uh, down here at these lower y levels now i do know from the latest uh, few snapshots the way caves have been generating has been has changed quite a lot between snapshots so they're obviously tweaking a bunch of things um, and as you can see we still have the lava and such that we used to now i'm just looking around for well we certainly have a ravine here but a new type of ravine like like this is new and it looks so good it looks so cool like look at this huge like slice down in the ground here we never got this before it looks so cool and looks like we have a little bit of a branch here potentially could have led down to this let me just try and find some more interesting looking areas here we see the new uh, ores generating right here the redstone and such of course the lava still uh, still looking for something that I want to see and just looking in general but it looks amazing. This new... Oh, wait, here. This should be it. Yes, look at this. Look at this open space right here. And look at the, the water. This is an interesting cave right here. So we have a mine shaft connecting to it. We have the lava falling down here. This cave is very open. And there are multiple layers to this. So we have this layer down here with these pillars and this high ceiling as well and then just this water just sitting here really really cool very awesome we have iron lapis gold redstone diamond multiple diamonds actually now if we were to remove the night vision potion and just drink some milk here no to drink some milk real quick you'll see how dark this gets look at how dark this is now my brightness is not on uh, moody it's on bright but even so look at these caves that's they look epic we have the lava lighting it up but then we also have this what was it called again lichen lichen that I don't know um, lighting up certain spots of the cave but this is so cool. This is epic. This is gonna be so much fun to explore in survival. It is completely gonna change the caving experience. And as I said, there are different, the ores now generate differently. So even the mining methods will have to change, which is really cool. Now, I, if you don't mind, I'm gonna take back the night vision because I would like to see the entirety of this cave now that is pretty much the new stuff that is in 1.17 i have definitely most likely missed something uh please forgive me if i have but this is just a, a quick and simple summary of the new stuff that is in 1.17 and yeah maybe we'll do one of these in the future um when we when there's more stuff to show off now i don't think we're even halfway through the stuff in 1.17 there's still the guardian it was called the guardian right or the elder or something i don't remember but a new mob something to do with the underground <laughs> he looks tough um and other things as well we of course still have the cliffs and the stones and stuff like that there's still a lot of stuff to go around but with that guys i'm gonna call this episode not episode <laughs> i'm gonna call this video here i really hope you have enjoyed it um, comment down below if you have if there's first off anything I missed um, and yeah let me know your opinion of 1.17 how do, are you excited for it or do you think it's gonna change Minecraft forever which it, it is but do you think it's changing it for the better or for the worse the community has been screaming for a cave update and now it's finally here question is do people appreciate it and do people like the way it's going interesting subject but anyways i'm gonna call it here guys really hope you have enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new enable those notifications and i hope to see you in the next video with whatever it may be have a wonderful day and goodbye
Thing you can do.